NASA seeks ways to maintain the ISS in orbit without Russian support. Without Russian assistance, NASA is looking at methods to maintain the International Space Station in orbit, but Moscow isn't showing any signs of stopping its contributions just yet, despite the invasion of Ukraine. A docked Progress spacecraft is used by Russia to provide the ISS a lift to maintain its height of around 400 kilometers, while the United States provides power and life support, 250 miles. However, Russia's Roscosmos Space Commander Dmitry Rogozin mentioned the possibility of withdrawing from the collaboration in reaction to U.S. sanctions last week. According to the agency's chief of human spaceflight, Kathy Luders, a reboost capability has been provided by U.S. aerospace and military corporation Northrop Grumman. We're not receiving any signs at a working level that our colleagues are not committed, Luders said of the space station's activities. When it comes to operational flexibility and enhancing the capabilities of cargo suppliers alike, we're constantly on the lookout, she added. Upon its arrival to the ISS on February 21, the final Northrop Grumman Cygnus supply ship had an unprecedented ability to reboost. Rogozin had asked on Friday, who would rescue us from an uncontrolled deorbit, and Elon Musk responded by tweeting his company's logo. However, Luders emphasized that these measures were only a precautionary measure. If we were to operate on our own, it would be extremely difficult, she added. ISS is an international collaboration that was founded, with common dependencies, she said. While the ISS has been a symbol of post-Cold War détente for more than two decades, it has also seen its share of political upheaval, most notably Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014. As a result of this, some commentators feel that US-Russian space collaboration may be at risk.